Hey girl, what's up with you? Wait a minute, is this the right number? It's um the loser line. Come on, just call me back. If you haven't heard the loser line before, it works like this. Let's say someone approaches you while you're out in nature and uses this charming pickup line on you. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, miss, but I'm a bird watcher and I'm looking for a big breasted bed thrasher. Oh my god. <laughs> Have you spotted one? That's my favorite uh, bird. Yeah. They're not rare, uh, I'll tell bet. you that. Whatever you do, resist the urge to rip off his binoculars uh, and cram them up his tweet hole. Uh-huh. Instead, tell him you're the type of early bird that gets that worm. Oh, I get that worm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's when you give him the number to the loser line. So hopefully he leaves you an awkward voicemail that we can play on the air. Voicemails like this one. Next message. Hey, Alice, it's Dean. Um, I was the guy doing laps next to you at the pool. Um, I just wanted to say it was really awesome chatting with you in the water. And, um, you know, I gave it a lot of thought, but <laughs> I took your advice and I shaved my back. <laughs> You're right. It looks so much better. Uh, but I want to call and say, first of all, thank you. Um, but also, like, I don't have a... I don't have a roommate right now, and I don't know. You probably never shaved your back, but like, there's this patch in the middle that I can't reach. Like, it's like a little like soul patch on my back, I guess. And I, I don't want to go back to the the pool until I get it taken care of. So, is there any chance later tonight maybe you could come over, and shave the rest of my back? Oh. Next message. Oh, how Poor romantic. man. Oh, but that is wow. a perfect name for it, too, a salt patch on his back. Yeah. Like, that explains perfectly what was left. Oh, that could have been a fun experience for them. She could have come over. Maybe she could have, like, braided it. Aww. You know, they could have had a little hey, little night together. You know what? Some girls like back hair. My girlfriend says it's like handlebars, you know? Yeah. You just grab <laughs> grab it and oh, hold girl. on. Oh, you don't get what I'm talking about. I, I have a terrible image yeah. in my head, though. Let's just play <laughs> the next message. Hi, Jacob. This is a m- so I'm really pissed at you because just so you know, I have a friend that works at that bar where I met you. And um, just so you're aware, there's a rumor going around that you paid one of the servers money to spill a drink on you just to get out of talking with me. <gasps> Which, first of all, grow up. Second of all, how dare you? I mean, seriously, really, that pisses me off. Like, who does that? Am I so boring? Am I so uninteresting? Is it such a chore to talk to a person? Like, what the f*** is wrong with you? I'm a really nice girl. I'm not too bad to look at. I've got a lot going for me. There are plenty of guys I can talk to. And if for some reason that rumor is not true, maybe we can work it out. Next what? message. Oh, what? what? She's leaving Wait. the door open? Oh, she did a 180 there at the end. She seems like a delight. Yeah, she does. Dude, how bad are you that someone gets paid to have a drink poured on them? Oh I've never God. heard of that. I mean, you have to go to that extreme. We all have cell phones for a reason, right? It's yeah. to fake an emergency call. <laughs> like, that's the only reason we carry those things around on dates. It on this girl, though. No. She's yeah. <laughs> Next message. Um, hi, Miranda. This is um, David from last week. Um, I know we were hoping to get together. Or I thought we might have a chance to get together this weekend, but there's been kind of a change of plans. Um, my friend has got this satellite that he keeps in his backyard. He's very sophisticated. It picks up a lot of chatter, a lot of info. I mean, he's kind of, you know, plugged in. So I, I just don't think it's a good idea to be out this weekend. And well, fortunately, I mean, I've, I've been talking to him about this sort of stuff for years and I have kind of a, uh, a bunker, I guess you'd call it. You know, there's running water, there's Wi-Fi, there's a ton of canned beans. So I, I think it might not be crazy if you wanted to, to, I don't know, spend the weekend, you know, with me at the bunker. Um, we can, you know, hang out, watch movies and chill. And, what the heck? I mean, if, if uh, shit really does go down, we could, uh, you know, <laughs> repopulate the earth. <laughs> I, um so I, um, if you get my voicemail, just leave the code word Green Power Ranger. Oh just my God. So I know that you're in. Next message. Oh my God. This guy's way too Oh much. my God. I have a feeling this woman would rather go down with the ship yeah. than repopulate yeah. the earth with him. Dude, totally. It makes oh. you fear for the future of humanity because these are the only types exactly. of people that are preparing for the end. So Ooh. when something does happen, this is what the future I'm just saying, yes. is going to look like. You're right. The human race, bad now. Going to be way worse after the apocalypse. And. 
only eating canned beans, so oh. just really stinky. Next message. Hey, Melissa, this is n- Um, You don't know me, uh, but I'm actually hoping to know you. I, um, well, I know your mom uh, through the library, and uh, believe it or not, she suggested that, I don't know, maybe I could take you out sometime, like we should go on a date. Uh, I know it's kind of, kind of weird, but, um, your mom seems really cool, honestly. And, uh, if she hadn't have like even mentioned you probably would ask her out. Um, <laughs> but, uh, Hey, that's, that's why I'm calling you. Right. Uh, I feel like I'm going to date someone in the family and you're probably a little more age appropriate. Uh, so Yeah. <laughs> Next message. Oh my wow. god. Jeez. I'm just reading between the lines about what that happened. So clearly he was hitting on her mom yes. and then the mom gave the loser line. Yeah, like, oh. no, no, honey, call my daughter. Yeah. Here's her number. I mean, <laughs> mom librarians are even passing out the loser line, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I think that's definitely a new low for this <sighs> segment. We got book nerds and bunker dudes today. Yep. <laughs> so not looking good for us. No. Remember, listen to the loser line regularly. At this time every week.